When we think of using any AI agent framework, typically we think of we need some number of AI agents. And then if you use Crew AI, you think immediately, oh, I'm going to create a crew of agents to solve my problem. Now, that's not always necessary. So today I'm going to show you how you can create single LLM calls within Crew AI. The first step is to create the flow. So in order to do that, I am going to be using the terminal, which I have up right now. So I'm going to say Crew AI create flow, and then I'll just give it the name of the flow. So I can say single LLM or whatever you want to name the flow. And then once you do that over here on the left, it will go ahead and create that flow for you. Now, if you notice here, it does by default create a poem crew always, but I didn't need the crew because we're not going to be using that today. So I just went ahead and uh, deleted the crew. And now I just have the single LLM, the source, and then I just have this main Python file that I created. So let's go through this now. All right, the first thing is I have a workout plan pydantic model with a single property called workout plan. I have the state that I'm going to be using for this whole flow so, it's, so we can save different sections and the whole flow will be able to access these properties. So then I have a simple, I have a simple Python function called log, which just prints a message. And in here you could modify the print message. So it's not, so you don't have to modify it everywhere. You just call the log function here, and then it'll just print this out into your terminal as well, which we will see. So we, again, always start with the start decorator above the function. This is where the flow, this is the entry point for the flow. Now I get, I have four inputs. That's with the input function right here in Python. So I'm going to be asking the, I'll be asking myself or whenever you use this, you'll be given four questions. Once you answer them, then we save them to the state, which is a self dot state. And then the name of the property. So up here we have wake up time in the single LLM state. Well, we're saving whatever the user input there. And then we're just logging, we're just basically regurgitating and logging what um, what you are just now saving into the state or what the user input was. Then this next function, create guideline outline, it's listening for the user input. Now the user input is the name of the function that we're starting with. So once that's done, now we're gonna come down here and this is where we're gonna be learning about uh, using a single LLM call. It's very simple hardly any code. And I'm going to show you how to use different, uh, different AI providers as well. So here I have messages equals a create workout plan prompt. I will get that, get back to that in just a second, but we're passing in basically the user input. And then this is where it's really simple. I have the LLM, you have a variable LLM equals the LLM class. Now this is where crew AI uses light LLM in the background. And because they use that light LLM allows you to use all kinds of AI model providers in a very simple way. So for instance, here I'm using OpenAI. I want to use the GPT-40 model and I'm giving it a response format. So the workout plan, which, which I just said a couple minutes ago up here is the pydantic model. So it has one. So in the, in the response, it's going to come back with this model, but with one property called workout plan. So the goal is that we want the workout plan that is created or generated inside of this property in our state. And before we move on, I'll let you know that inside of my community, I'm gonna have everything you need to know from my YouTube videos inside of my templates and cruise module. And I also have a full masterclass to tell you everything that you need to know about crew AI and any den that I am constantly adding to as well. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions to help you achieve your product and services. And I'll have a link for that description below for a free onboarding call. Okay. So once we have this, I'm just simply saying response equals LLM dot call, and I'm passing in messages. Okay. So this is where it's actually just making the AI call to whatever model or whatever provider we want to use. So what's this messages here that I have here? Okay. So I have a prompts.py file. Let's look at this really quick. It's called create workout plan prompt. So I'm passing in four properties and these properties are the user inputs. And I have a system content, just your helpful assistant designed to output workout plans. I just made this pretty simple. And then for the content, I want you to create a workout plan for a day based on the following information. And this is the information that we're, the user is, uh, that user is inputting into the terminal. And then that's it. They only return the workout plan, nothing else. So if we come back here, this, me this messages here, this is going to be a dictionary. And that's what we're passing into the LLM call. I recommend if you have prompts, um, separating them into a separate file. I mean, by, by default, Crew AI does that with the YML files or YAML files so that it looks cleaner whenever you're actually developing your AI agents. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. And then I'm just saving this workout plan, the response into our property, into our state. And then I just log it. 
And then once we're finally done, I'm just simply this function right here. It's just a simple Python function that saves this to uh, save this to my project. Over here, I have a workout plan and a workout plan Google, which we'll go to go through in a minute. And that's it, right? That's that's the overall structure of how this works. Now let's just run this to see how it looks. Okay, so we have the flow execution. This is kind of giving, letting you know that it's starting. We're giving an ID to this flow. When you can do some more advanced things with that. But here are the user inputs. So when I wake up is 5 a.m. When I go to bed is 8 p.m. I work out twice a week. How often do I run? About five miles a week. So when I hit enter, it's just you know, like I said, it's just logging or printing everything on the terminal, like we had mentioned. So a complete. Oh, see, finished pretty quick actually. So we completed the user input. So now the next flow method step is to create the guide outline. So we had it logged that. So it printed that out, printed that out. And then now the now we have successfully completed the create guide outline. So with that, then we are then going to run the next function, which is the third step, which is to save the workout plan locally. So it's going to save it over here. And then finally, uh, then it's when all three steps, all the steps are completed, then the flow execution has completed successfully. It gives you the name and again, the ID that we can use, you can use for some more advanced stuff. So if we come over here, I actually think I named, if we come back up here, this is where you can name the output path. So the output path actually went ahead and named this workout plan Google. So let's go and open this up, even though this will be a little different, but this is with the OpenAI model, this is what it returns. So it kind of gives you the daily workout plan, started at 5 a.m. And this looks this looks pretty good. Like I like this. This was simple. Um, this is a just from a single LLM call. We don't we didn't need a whole crew to go out and do a bunch of things. You could you could have multiple agents do things, but this is an example of you just need a single LLM call. It's not much code at all, and they actually make it simpler instead of having to adhere to every AI model provider's like format. Light LLM kind of takes care of that for you, so you don't have to worry about that. So here we are. Now let's go ahead, and what I want to show you next is how to use a different provider for this. So right here, we're using uh, we're using OpenAI GPT 4.0. Now, if I just go ahead and comment that out, I already had this coded, but for Google LLM, we, I, we're again creating another LLM. I'm giving it the model. Now at light LLM, which I will go to in just a second, this is like kind of the format. So depending on the provider, like for Google, this is the Gemini model. So I'm gonna say Gemini slash and light LLM will know, okay, this is a Google AI provider, and then I'm giving it the model that I want to use from uh, from Google. So here I'm using the two point flash two point five flash preview. Now I need to get a Gemini key, which you can get from which you get from Google. I get mine from Google AI Studio, and then we're just giving it the same response format. We don't have to do anything else. The only thing I changed was giving it the API key and gave it a different model. And then I can just copy. I can just copy that right there. And now I'm going to be using Google's LLM call. And let's see what the difference is when it gives me a workout plan. Okay, so this finished. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up and let's see what the difference is. Okay, so it looks, this is a little different. Um, maybe it might even actually be a little bit more in depth. So uh, wake up at five. <laughs> it actually, this might actually be harder than what uh, GPT-4 uh, sent over to me the strength training workout well uh, but it, you know it kind of briefly goes into dinner like what you should eat um sleep and all that stuff but okay so this is this is how if you wanted to you could actually run this and compare it against multiple providers and see you either combine them or see which one gave you the best workout plan and then you could just use that model let's take a look at what light llm does real quick and how to use it okay so we're going to go to light and then we're going to go over to docs and then here, what I would do, there's, there's a lot going on here, right? But on, on the supported models and providers, if we go down to, this is how I got knew how to use Google's. So Google AI Studio, let's go and choose Gemini, Google AI Studio. Now, right here, this provider route on light LLM, this prefix that we showed back in the code. So if I go here real quick, let me go back to the main Python file where it said Gemini slash. This is what I need for Google, right? So it's telling me I need to have this prefix in order for this to work with Light LLM so that it knows I'm going to be using a Gemini model. So then you could do something like this, use Gemini Pro, whatever, whatever model you want to use now from Google, you could come here to Google AI Studio and choose that. Likewise, let's say I wanted to use, let's say IBM. Okay, so you, if it doesn't have that right at the top there, you'll know that the model here, I need to prefix 
any model from IBM Watson with Watson X slash. So I can go in there, change that. I would just need to make sure I get my API key from uh, IBM Watson, and then I can use any of their models. But again, I just want to take a look at this. This is how easy it is to use to have a single LLM call from any provider that you want because you use light LLM in the background. It makes it very simple. It's very quick. And I highly recommend if you, you don't need a whole crew for everything, right? Because sometimes we just need AI automation. We don't need to have a whole bunch of agents doing something because maybe we know what it's supposed to be doing. Okay. It also reduces the latency if we have a direct AI call. Thank you for watching. And I think this will be really helpful for you because understanding how to just make a single LLM call based on any provider is, I think is really essential so that, you know, it's just one place that you need to make any changes. And this means that you can also have many different AI providers, depending on the tasks that you wanted to solve and simply and easily implement them into your whole flow. And here's more videos you should watch and I'll see you next one.